I call this my Italian pot roast, a rich, hearty meal that can be done in the slow cooker or oven. I'm Tess, and welcome to my kitchen. I have made this recipe so many different ways over the years. This Italian pot roast is so rich and satisfying that it will feed a hungry crew. It is a great way to use leftover veggies, and you can serve with pasta, rice, potatoes, or I've even served over a thick piece of toasted garlic parmesan bread. In my cast iron pan on medium high, I'm adding some avocado oil and about a three pound beef chuck roast. I trimmed most of the outer fat and seasoned the side down with some salt and black pepper, and I'm doing the same with this side. I'm cooking each side for about two to three minutes to get a good sear and lock in those juices. This will add a tremendous amount of flavor to my dish. Once each side has a nice crust, I'm removing from the pan and setting to the side. Remember not to throw away the juices. You can find this recipe and a list of ingredients in the description box below. I'm making this in my slow cooker and cooking on high for about four to five hours, but you can also do this in a 325 degree oven for about three to four hours. Just keep checking and basting the roast with a sauce every hour or so. In my slow cooker, I have one can of tomato sauce and crushed tomatoes. In goes some tomato paste, a little sugar to counter the acidity, and some black pepper. And now for my seasonings. I'm adding some Italian seasonings, oregano, basil, and a little marjoram. I really like the taste of marjoram with the beef. A good healthy dose of minced garlic, and I had some fresh chopped parsley on hand. This might seem like a lot of seasonings, but I have a lot of veggies and meat to flavor. And then in goes my vegetables. I have one very large sliced onion, some roughly chopped celery with the tops and all, some leftover sliced bell peppers, mushrooms, and baby carrots. You can use whatever veggies you like or have on hand. If you like this Italian beef pot roast recipe, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. You can also find me and more of what I'm cooking on Facebook and Test Cooks For You blog giving that a gentle but good toss to make sure everything is well coated. And on top goes the beef roast. And don't forget all those good pan juices. Just going to toss some sauce and veggies on top as much as I can. As this cooks, the roast will melt down into the sauce and eventually will be submerged. I will check on it and give it a good stir every hour or so. And this is the Italian pot roast after four and a half hours. The kitchen smells amazing. As you can see, the roast is done and falling apart. Going to take the roast out and let it rest for about 15 minutes, and we will fix a plate. Depending on how fatty your beef roast is, you may need to skim off some excess fat, or you can let this cool, refrigerate, and then skim off the excess fat. You saw how fatty my chuck roast was in the middle, and I just had a little to skim after refrigerating. Not much at all. Serving tonight with rice. This is an easy, rich, and hearty dinner. I hope you give this one a try. Enjoy. And thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen. You can subscribe here for my future video recipes. And remember to come visit me on Facebook. You never know what I might be cooking. Until next time, much love.